What's up guys, in today's video we're going to be building a front bumper for the uh, K5 Blazer project. Now, we're not going to integrate a winch at this time. Um, the kind of wheeling I do is just, it's really not required. Um, and this design will allow us to cut and fabricate in a winch later on. It's a very, very basic, very squarish design. I think it's going to match uh, the lines of the truck really well. And most importantly, it's going to give us a front, two front recovery points and um, kind of the ability to, to hit shit more solidly, um, which is always good. Uh, so first step of any good bumper build is to pull off this chrome bumper uh, and see what we got to work with. I've never built an off-road bumper before, never, never taken a bumper off this truck. We'll find out what kind of mounts we got underneath. So there's two sets of side supports. Um, they have to take out. And then you're left with these frame horns. Now, you can also reuse the stock pieces that came off of here. I've got some three inch uh, angle that we're gonna use to build mounts on these horns. Uh, this was nice to find. That's my, my body mount. Not really doing a whole lot. How about this side? Nope, this side is still tight. Although I'm not really sure what all that's holding. But basically we're going to be able to build extensions. Now here comes the first stylistic question. We can significantly improve our approach angle by trimming this body line uh, to match with this bumper and moving the bumper slightly up. So I need to do some thinking, figure out how I want to build this bumper out because um, the basically if we cut this fender line back here we can also um, keep this reasonably narrow keep this bumper basically the width of the body right here um, and that will give our tires first contact with uh, anything we want to run over all right well after much thinking I've kind of come up with the design and I'll flush it out with you guys as we go along and build it so first thing I did was I came in here with an angle grinder and basically cut these down. Um, you may or may not have to do this. Mine are all kind of bent and deformed from a, a life of hard use. So I went ahead and cut them off just to give myself a little smoother surface to work with. We then went and cut out these. These are four by four quarter inch plates and I think uh, one and a half or two, uh, two by four quarter inch plate. And we're gonna use this to basically build bolt on mounts to replace these guys. These guys are probably eighth inch thick, so we're doubling our thickness, but these are formed, so they have a little extra rigidity. These are just gonna basically sit like a piece of angle on here, but they will be flat. So the bumper will face flat in relation to the earth rather than in relation to the truck, which gives us a nice good uh, mounting surface. We're going to drill these out, make sure they fit, weld them up, Obviously, we've got two sets, one for each horn. And once that's done, we can cut and um, basically weld on um, our main uh, bumper piece. And it'll go pretty quickly from there. So uh, two things I want to mention. First of all, uh, I know that some of, based on the demographics of some younger viewers, um, you may not always have the best welder, the best grinder, the best cutting tools, the biggest garage. But one thing you can afford is good uh, personal protection. These are less than nine bucks on Amazon. I always wear earplugs when I'm doing this sort of work. They're clear, so you can't really see them, uh, but they're like 10 bucks too. It's something everybody can afford and uh, your future self will thank you in a big way. Um, so with that said, I'm gonna get the drill press set up and we're gonna drill out some of these plates. So here's our mount bolted into place. This face is flush. What we're gonna do is come in here with the welder uh, and basically tack in a couple of things. You can see we have a little bit of a deviation there. But to tack this in, take it on the bench, weld it, make sure that it um, stays true. And then we'll do the other side and our mounts will be done. So here are our frame mounts, or our bumper mounts installed to the frame, all welded up. Uh, now we're gonna cut our um, actual bumper piece and I think I've decided on 72 or 72 and a half inches 
um, which should basically bring us to about right here. Um, then we're going to trim the fender underneath when all is said and done. Um, but we'll see. I'm going to measure a few more times to make sure I'm happy with it before we cut because we only got a limited amount of this material and it's kind of expensive. So here's our bumper. We cut it to 72 and a half. Um, and the pattern we're going to do is we're going to do a slash cut here. This is a half inch delta. We're going to step it in flat and then do another uh, kind of angle down. This will give the bumper some style, but more importantly, this part will still be secure enough that we can use a high lift jack on it. Um, these are one by two squares. We're going to cut this all the way through on the frame. So this is where the frame is. This is where the shackle mounts are going to go. So these will drop through the frame and get welded. And that's pretty much it. We have our halfway mark. We're going to install our license plate here. In the future, we may be adding a winch panel here. But the next kind of step is going to be just a whole lot of cutting and grinding. Um, I'm going to give it a go with the plasma cutter because potentially it could save quite a bit of time. Um, if it sh doesn't give me the results I want, you can always switch back to using uh, a standard grinder. But we're going to give that a go first. Well, the plasma cutter made short work. You can see our step. We're going to end up plating all of this in with 3 8 plate. Um, but I think the next thing we can do is uh, decide which of these is going to be the front of our bumper and which is going to be the back and uh, weld in our shackles. They're just going to fit perfectly all the way through. And then on the back side, um, we're going to just perimeter tree weld them on both sides and they should be 100% solid. So there we go. We got our shackles in. Now our frame rails are going to be somewhere in here about four inches inside. So it'll be good. I'll pull from the outside. That way we have plenty of space for a winch in the future. Um, and now we just got to cut uh, some 3 8 pieces. Basically frame this in. We're going to put it on top and butt weld it. And then two smaller pieces here and here. And basically this will make sure that the wheels are the first thing that hits an obstacle um, rather than the bumper. Uh, but while still protecting all the frame rails and all the important stuff right in the middle. So here's our kind of final product. I still got to attach the license plate, clean up a few things. But you can see it's nice and level. Um, we've got a good kind of gap here. This was done to ensure that we can mount a winch here in the front in the future if we need to um, without kind of any any major hurdles and of course eventually we're going to trim this body line here so it doesn't hang below the bumper um, and make sure that the wheel is kind of the first thing that hits uh, but i'm going to do that later because it's not super mission critical because obviously even if i damage this down here um, it doesn't matter because it's getting cut off but I think it looks pretty good if we go down here in the front. You guys can see it tucks up pretty nicely compared to the stock bumper. Pretty happy with that, how that turned out. So if you like this video, hit the like button. If you like the channel, please subscribe. Make sure to check out, um, there'll be a separate video for building the rear bumper. It'll also be on this channel. Um, subscribe, check out the uh, K5 Blazer playlist for all of the K5 Blazer videos. I love you guys. Peace.